Hello all. So in this tutorial, we are going to texture this uh, wall unit. In the last tutorial, we have modeled it. We'll be just texturing this wall unit. So let's get started. So very first of all, how we are going to texture this wall unit. It's like, let's just activate the V-Ray over here. For activating the V-Ray, let's go into rendering, render setup. And let's activate this V-Ray over here. After that, what we'll be doing over here is like, first we'll be texturing this uh, part over here. So before that, we'll just select this part. Let's select its uh, polygons over here. Let's select the whole polygons. And let's just exclude this part. Let's go into material press M and let's take a V-Ray material over here let's go into the diffuse bitmap so let's take a texture for this just assign this texture on top of it go into this say uvw map and just set it as a box over here perfect after that what we'll be doing over here is like uh, let's convert to editable poly over here so if you require to give some uh, shininess to it we can go into this reflect and we can give a bit of it we'll just name it as wood over here after that let's select this stuff over here so we'll be assigning the same texture over here and again go into this and let's give a UVW map set it as a box over here and just convert to editable poly now now what I can do over here is like I need the same over here we'll be just selecting the same again over here select this UVW map and just set it as a box over here select this again go into this give a UVW map set it as a box over it after it is done we can just convert to editable poly over here now select this part for the wall section and let's go into the material let's take another V-Ray material let's go into the diffuse and let's just uh, pick this color I will just assign this uh, color to the wall over here looks good select this stuff over here let's again go into the material over here and let's again give a V-Ray material and let's give a white wooden let's go into the bitmap and we can just take this uh, texture over here and let's just assign on top of it uh, let's go into it and say UVW map and set it as a box so once this is done we also need to give the same texture to this also so we'll be selecting this stuff over here so first we'll be just selecting this selecting this all
and go into material and assign the same texture over here and again go into this and just give a box on top of it so after you are done with this just convert to poly over here so select this polygons and inverse it by pressing ctrl i and let's give the same wooden texture over here and let's give a UVW map and just give it as a box convert to readable point so this thing will go with this also so select this polygon also I'm sorry select this save your file press 4 and again go into the material and just give a UVW map there's a box now now what we'll be doing over here is like let's select this all the books over here so we'll be just selecting this books all except this to convert to poly and we'll just attach it we'll just attach this all this box that is your books over here so just go on attaching this all go into material editor again take a V-Ray material and go into bitmap and just give this texture to it and now you can go into this and give UVW map set it as a box perfect so now if you see this now convert to editable poly delete this and delete this so you can just select this and make two copies of it so the same way we are going to work over here also so delete this shift and drag to make a copy of it drag and make a copy of it alright so once you are done now save your file so we'll be giving one texture to the floor also for that let's select the floor let's go into material again take a V-Ray material go into the bitmap and for the floor we're taking this texture for the floor over here UVW map so go into the material uh, into that you can work with this uh, tiling stuff over here and go into the reflect and reduce this step. now let's again go into the material take a V-Ray material over here and select this go into the bitmap and we'll be assigning this pattern to it and give a UVW map set it as a box looks better and convert to point so now we'll be selecting this all four 
supports over here and let's give the same material over here for this select this select the polygons go into material take a V-ray material again and let's just take a light color on it inverse it material and take one more V-ray material you can also use multi sub object you can go with the multi sub object also if required and give a bit of Reflected. that's it so now what we'll be doing over here is like this part this this and this let's go into material take a V-ray material over here and let's take a whitish color and let's give a reflect to it and just assign this that's it so once you have assigned this stuff you can just uh, scale this push this up over here much better so you can just push it more behind over here in this one so if you want to utilize some kind of basic lights you can add some basic lights over here you can just save your file you can just add some take a V-ray light over here you can add a V-ray light over here so we can go into this and you can just scale this lights a bit over here go into this uh, double sided invisible no decay if you want to use some uh, target also you can go with the target also not a problem can go into rendering render setup you can go into this V-Ray and you can just set make some changes over here some basic changes So you can just uh, cancel this stuff over here. So very first of all, we'll just go back and make it to shaded. Push this up. So select this light and 
make a copy of it from this angle so just push this over here and reduce its intensity to 1 over here change the color of the light over here rendering uh, you can go into this render setup again V-Ray and if you want to add we can try to add an environment over here so you can just add a GI environment if, if it is required if you want to add it so we'll go into this press shift and F you can on the V-Ray physical camera also and just render this and see how it looks like definitely we are not uh, we don't have the passes so definitely it might look a bit flat without the passes we can work with the lights if you think that the lights are too high you can just add a basic camera over here so we can just select this we can just change the color of the light over here make this light as again render it definitely we'll see a difference over here a bit and if you want to go with some kind of a other color lights you can go with that you can just make it towards the blue stuff also looks good so we can just select this also the flooring part and you can just give a bit of reflection to the flooring over here we can change with this so now what I can do over here is like uh, okay incidentally I activated all these toolbars we can go into this uh, V-Ray toolbar also and you can activate this quick settings also over here and you can also check out the rendering from this also So there are no passes right now with me, I have not generated any kind of passes over here. So shading and all this stuff, bucket, alright.
it looks good much better we we'll just put two lights yet so uh, for this light over here for this light we can go into this we on the cast shadows we don't need for both cast shadows so we'll select this of this cast shadows shading rate subdivisions we can just increase it but increasing the subdivision definitely will take more time let's render it we'll just try to change the render settings over here so we'll go into this render settings over here filter we can just try to change to catmull room and very very important the settings which we have defined over here keep this over here and render it so there are no passes that's the reason it's looking like this once you generate the passes the shadow and all this stuff after that you composite it and you can just generate the depth over here So we can uh, set up a lensos filter also. Bucket, render it. Also, uh, we can go into this. We we'll keep it as adaptive DMC, and we can keep this as Michelle V Ray environment. If I don't require it, you can just off the V Ray environment. Not a problem. This looks much better. Now,
it will take some time Can off this refractive GI caustics if you don't need it. You can off this reflective GI caustics. You can just keep it to riddance map and light cache over here. So over here we'll be just keeping it as your low over here, very low. We can keep it as low over here. If we increase its subdivision samples, we can increase it to 150 by 60 over here. And let's render it. Also, you can uh, go into this, and also you have subpixel mapping. You can keep it as exponential. Definitely, we are going to keep this uh, exponential over here. And you also have this. You need to activate this subpixel mapping. This is the final image pixels with individual subpixels. It calculates that particular area over here and that's it perfect much better All right. So we are not using a V-ray sun over here. We are just using normal two V-ray lights with different intensities. So one is your fill and one is your key. And if it is required for you to keep a, a rim light, you can keep a rim light over here on the back side also if it is required. So we haven't generated any passes. This is just normal render. going to take more time
oops i think we haven't converted this to uh, editable poly so all right we'll just render it in a smaller part we'll just render it all right so i'm just rendering it in a you know lesser resolution to render it fast all right so if you render the passes definitely give you more realistic look okay so we are done so thanks for watching this tutorial